hello guys it's me Karthik hope you guys are doing really good so as you can see here I have a h2 database been open that means in the back end I have the Spring Boot application up and running let me show you some data that is there in this table student information okay so this is the data now what I want to do is I want to delete all the records in this table okay with the help of JPA repository right so what are the different methods available what is the difference between them that we are going to see today okay so let me show you first is my entity that is a student entity available here okay this is my student entity and also this is having id name address columns and also there were two annotations i have given like something like pre remove so when i am removing the entity this method about to remove the entity this method should get executed and when i removed that entity completely removed that entity this method will get executed okay then coming back to the repository here where is the repository yeah this is my repository jpa repository right so here if you see delete all method is there delete all in batch is there there is one more will be there called delete all not sure where i can show you that but both will be there okay so basically what we are discussing today is how i can use delete all how i can use delete all in batch and what is the difference among these two when i should go for what okay so first let's see the practical implementation first okay so here i am in the student data controller so first let me write the controller part so i'll take a delete mapping and i'll give you some value something like student uh, else something like remove all because i already have the mapping student data right so i'll keep remove all okay so public void and let's say like delete all this is the one and similarly let me write one more copy this and paste it over here remove all batch okay remove all in batch okay and let's go to the service class and implement over there this is my service class guys student data service where i am implementing all the uh, data all the methods related to student data i'm using the student repository that we have seen just now okay this way now let's come back here go here and create a public method like public let's say like void delete all students and here i have the report right? so simply use dot delete all this guy see delete all is there right so i'm using this guy and let me hook this method in my controller directly let's not implement delete all in batch as of now will come on another round okay so this is my method let me rerun this and in the meantime let me set my postman write 0 8 1 delete all okay okay now let me refresh my console here h2 console it should be up and running in the meantime yep so password
we have this data right now let me hit this and you could see everything is removed now let me hit this everything is removed with the help of delete all but if you observe one thing for every removal of entity it is going into pre remove and once it is removed post remove entity okay so annotation so these are the entity life cycle methods so delete all is actually following that okay cool now let's go in another direction here public void delete all students in batch student report dot delete all in batch okay now let me hook this guy Now, let me rerun this application. In the end, I need to add batch, isn't it? So, I find batch, I'm not yet running. I think application is up now. Let me show you the data. Now you could see we got the data here right now if I hit this and 200 that means executed successfully if I hit again select star everything is removed but if you observe it is not going into pre remove and post remove uh, life cycle methods of that entity okay so these two we have seen delete all delete all in batch I hope you understood the how we can implement then why one is going into you know life cycle methods of entity why other is not and when i need to use these two as you can see there were two options which both of them can delete the records from the table right then when i need to use which one is so basically delete all what is does is this is important and this could be a really good you know java interview question as well so let's say like i have five records okay so then what it does is it brings one record at a time record at a time to persistent layer that means first layer of cache persistent layer are the first layer of cache it will bring that one record at a time then it will delete it will delete one record at a time whereas delete all will remove or delete all of them at a time it won't bring them to the cache layer all those things it will directly remove them all the records at a time since it is removing one record at a time so the performance is little slower slower hence little slower and this is much faster right and here one more thing we need to remove remember is if you observe it is following following entity life cycle methods methods like pre remove post remove whereas this guy not following entity life cycle methods entity life cycle methods right life cycle methods and here this is preferred since it is little slower preferred in two cases preferred preferred in two cases okay here first one is when you have the low amount of data data in table and 
when you wanted to wanted to follow this cascade principles cascade principles of bean life cycle principles when you want to follow go for this and this is preferred in preferred preferred in large amount of data removal large data removal cases right cool then there's a one more thing for each since i told you it will delete one item at a time right so for each each removal one transaction will be created for each removal one transaction will be created okay that means if i have five records to delete five transactions will be created here single transaction either removes everything or not removes everything okay here something happens after three records you know trying to delete five records something happens after three records that means three were deleted two were still there but here is a single transaction that means either everything will be deleted or nothing will be deleted so that is the difference guys delete all and delete all in batch when you have large set of data and you don't want to follow this cascading principle and you don't have any business value to follow that okay then go for delete all in batch whereas delete all is more you know uh, principle oriented deletion okay hope this is useful if you found it useful please do like share and subscribe to my channel